Meanwhile, the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov have reached a provisional agreement on the terms for a ceasefire in Syria. Kerry said the two sides are closer than ever to a full ceasefire deal. Jim Spellman has more details. A ceasefire in Syria could be hours or days away, according to the U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. We are, in fact, making progress even as I stand here today. There is aid now getting through. The modalities for a cessation of hostilities are now being completed. In fact, we are closer to a ceasefire today than we have been. And I take nothing for granted about this. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad says his government is prepared to honor the ceasefire, but that a cessation of hostilities must not provide an opportunity for U.S.-backed anti-government forces to rearm and regroup. He says the ceasefire should be part of a larger effort to improve conditions in Syria and stop the flow of refugees. It's not only about Syria, it's about the rest of the world. First of all, Europe should lift the embargo on the Syrian people, not the Syrian. They don't make embargo on the Syrian government. It's against the Syrian people. Second, Turkey should stop sending terrorists to Syria. Third, as a government, we have to fight the terrorists, definitely, and we have to keep the living moving forward by any means in order to allow the Syrians to stay in their country. Kerry expects the U.S. President Barack Obama and Russian President Vladimir Putin to speak on the phone soon to finalize terms of the ceasefire. Meanwhile, some food is getting through to towns ravaged by the war. This is the first convoy since July 2014, and the World Food Programme is now providing family rations for all the 45,000 citizens that are remaining here. But even as ceasefire talks intensify, the fighting continues. Weekend bombings in homes and Damascus killed dozens and wounded even more.